Hey guys, it's Kat and I'm back today for my May favorites and fails. Um, this month I've got a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, it's mainly skincare from what I can see and a few random things like I've got a book, I've got shoes, I've got stuff. So uh, I thought candles, I got their candles, um, but I thought what I'll do is I'll start with my fails because it sort of explains a little bit about why my favorites this month are sort of a little bit limited. Um, so firstly, fails. I don't have them here to hold up, but I'll put a photo on the screen. I did do a review on these. These were the L'Oreal Sugar Scrubs and um, they were really bad for me. So what they did was they really broke me out. I did a video review where you could see like on my chin, it was I was really broken out from them. Um, and I think the main reason for that being that um, I was using all three of them but the one that I sort of I think started the breakouts was the thickest one um, that one had cocoa butter in it and cocoa butter is known for clogging the pores and I'm the kind of person that if I have a, some particular product often sunscreens foundations that really clog my pores I break out like like that I break out within a couple of hours of having it on my face and I found that all these scrubs created a layer of moisture on my face um, which wasn't good so I ended up using those up on my body so I'll talk about those in my empties which is why I don't have them here to show you um, but because of that I had to really pare back my skincare um, I really wanted to start using some things that were sort of uh, basic and wouldn't like inflame the situation anymore so um, I do have some sort of skincare that I want to talk about that I started turning to a lot and really liking um, and then also what happened earlier this month uh, shortly after my birthday uh, my computer broke so um, I'm luckily borrowing Haley's laptop right now I need to invest in a new computer um, but because of that I usually do my makeup at my computer like I've got a computer desk and I, under the in the drawers there's like my every Day makeup so I pretty much put on YouTube um, watch YouTube while I'm getting ready um, with my coffee but I haven't been doing that recently because that sort of is just a hunk of not working machinery so I've been um, editing and doing stuff at my dining table. So it means that when I do my makeup, I pop into my makeup room for like 20 minutes, quickly chuck on makeup and then get out of there because there's nothing keeping me there. So um, I haven't been really adventurous with makeup this month because it's just like a cold study with no computer and it's not fun. So um, yeah, that's why this month it's mainly looking at skincare and a few makeup products that I have been coming back to, but nothing super, super exciting and new. Okay, so I will talk about beauty products first and then get into other favorites. So if you're not interested in what book I'm reading, what hair clip I really have been enjoying, what shoes I've been buying, um, then you can turn off at that point. So let's start with skincare. So in April, I did have a facial at Dermalogica and I really enjoyed it. It was like one of my highlights of April. Um, and I think my skin has maintained its smoothness since then. And I think the reason being, um, so the only issue I've had with my skin, I was having really a really good skin month until that breakout situation um, from those damn scrubs. Um, but before that, my skin was really, really good and my like, my face skin is really, really smooth. Um, and I am using a retinol um, that I might talk about next month. I'm still sort of figuring out if it's having a good effect or if I can't see an effect. But the skincare that I sort of picked up around that facial is by Dermalogica. Now they did, um, since that was teed up with PR, they said, you know, you can pick a few things. Um, so I did, but these are three products that I have been really really loving and I was actually talking to Simon um, from the skincare obsessive the other day we're having a coffee and I was talking about how I've been really enjoying some basic Dermalogica products and I said there's this massive cleanser in my shower that I've been really loving and he goes is it the special cleansing gel and I was like I don't know maybe and so we went back to my house and we had a look and I'm like yes and he goes I love that too I'm going to turn down this brightness it's so dark I turned up the brightness but hang on so hopefully you can see that a little bit better 
So yeah, like I said, this is a special cleansing gel. It is just a really basic gel cleanser, but it works really, really well. It doesn't dry out my skin. I have been finding that because it's colder weather now, I am using retinols. My skin is a little bit drier than it normally is. Um, I do have oily skin. Oil does break through, but I find that my skin just feels a little bit drier. So having something that doesn't strip it of oils and you know, aggravate it is really, really good. This is massive. So this is not a cheap product, but it's half a liter. And I, I have been so enjoying this. Um, yeah, I, I love it. So this doesn't have like a really, um, strong lather, but it is a gel that sort of lathers up a little bit. And I just, it works really well on a Clarisonic. It works well on its own. I've been really enjoying that. Um, and then during the day, I've been loving the Active Moist. This is just a basic moisturizer. It is like, there's not much to it. It's like a nice consistency. It's not too runny. It's not too thin. Uh, it sinks into the skin really, really nicely. It has a little bit of a herbal scent to it, but it's nothing like, it just feels fresh and nice. It's nice and light. It's nice and hydrating. Yeah, I I love both of those. Yeah, these are such a good staple product and they're just really, they, I don't know, they work really well. They're so basic, but they work really well. Even someone like Darren who doesn't like skincare very much, you know, I could definitely sway him to using those because they just work so well and are so, gentle and easy and they don't feel tacky and gross and whatever they're great another product that i've been loving from dermalogica so i have had a lot of skincare recently sort of come into my collection and i've sort of been slowly working in products but i've been working in products that sort of um i feel like that suit my skin or that i'm mostly interested in and i find that the ones that have stuck are the dermalogica sort of basic ones interesting but this is also by dermalogica this is the multivitamin power firm and it's in the age smart series so this um they used when we went to had the facial and um i was like i want one it's so good i want to get it and what it is it's sort of like a thick um you can see it coming out it's like a thick eye cream type product and they said that what this is firstly it sort of just like works into your skin really really easily and it smells like raspberries I love it. Um, but what they said you can do is you can just put it underneath your eyes, you know, daytime, nighttime, both if you want. Um, and it's also a good base for another like eye cream. So if you've got a thicker eye cream, um, you can use this almost as the first step. So what the lady did in the facial was she put it at the end of the facial on around the eye area and then the excess she just tapped into the lips and it was so nice. So. I've been using that and I've been loving it and it works really well under makeup and I find day eye creams often ball up with concealers, but that's been really, really good. So those are like the three Dermalogica products that I have just been reaching for often. And I do have a lot of skincare out at the moment, but they're the ones that I'm just like, they're really good, really basic, and they work really well. Another one that I do really like, but I have been holding off using it because I have a sunscreen that I'm trying to use up. So I'm sort of like, sometimes I'll use a sunscreen I need to use up and then other times I'll use this. This is the Dynamic Skin Recovery Broad Spectrum. So it's once again from the Age Smart series and it's an SPF 50. And um, this is just like, once again, a nice thin moisturizer. It's, it's not white, it's not, you know, it's just a nice thin moisturizer that you put on and it's got SPF 50. So really, really, really nice. But I do want to use up a sunscreen before I start, you know, using that too much. So I sort of, yeah, use it occasionally. The last sort of skincare brand that I want to mention, and I noticed a theme here. Um, it's sort of like whenever I use a pink product from Shiramura, I really, really love it. So this is, I've mentioned this before, it's a Nutri Nectar. It's the gentle cleansing oil in emulsion. So instead of it being a cleansing oil, it's more like a cleansing oil, but in a gel sort of form. Um, I've been using this for months and I really, really love it. Um, and then this is like, so this is like more of an oil, like a traditional oil. And that one you can see 
is more of a gel. So they both work really, really well, um, but I've been using that a lot. This I recently received because they've reformulated the um, Pore Finest. So this is now the Pore Finest 2 or Pore Finest Squared, I don't know. But I think with this one, the scent is a little bit different and I think they've put more like uh, cherry blossom essence in it, I think, but this one works really well as well. So I'm once again, I'm sort of using this and then sort of occasionally using this. So I, yeah, this, they're so good. Another pink Shuramura product that I love. This is a sort of refreshing mist. So this is a Skin Perfecta um, Makeup Refresher Mist. So you can see in here, it's like a jewel phase product. Um, let's see close up. See, I'm not sure if you can see too much, but there are beads of oil in there um, that you sort of shake up. Can you see them? I don't know. So this is not a new product to the range, um, but they do have, this is a larger bottle and this is like the cherry blossom one. So the Sakura one, and um, they have other different scents that are for the seasons. So I believe this is for spring. Um, they've got Yuzu, I'm not sure what season. They've got one that smells more like the sea. And I think they've got a green one that smells more like foresty, but they're all for different seasons. And I love this. So you shake it up and this is the best, beautiful, like, oh, wait, 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 wait. I can even barely feel it. It is so finely misted. It's just like, oh, oh my God. Uh, uh, it's like I've just been touched by angels. So it's such a fine mist. I don't even know if you'll be able to see, but you probably won't, but it's, oh, it smells so nice. It is so good. Fuck, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. And the reason why I love products like that is because now that it's getting into the cooler months, um, I'm noticing that my skin, since it is getting drier, if I wear mattifying foundations, it starts looking a little bit cakey, but products that sort of settle down that um, kind of powderiness, oh, they make things look so much better. And because this does have a little bit of oil in it, but with all those sort of water ingredients, it just has such a nice effect. This is such a great product. All right, on to makeup, and I'm gonna say, this is two months in a row mentioning these, but I absolutely adore these products from Too Faced. I adore them. They're the only things I really wanna use. Um, the Peach Perfect Foundation, I did a review of this during the month. It is phenomenal. It looks so good. The only issue with it is, is that it doesn't like being touched up, um, but it's so good, and the powder is so good. I love them. Check out my review. I wore them for, I think, 11 hours and they just look so good and I did try I, I, I put Revlon Color Stay, which is my old favorite foundation in my project pan and I just found using that I'm like my skin looks like desert whereas with this it just looks like beautiful so I, I fucking I love these I love these paired with this it's like good skin day Good skin day. A couple of other products that I want to mention uh, before I get on to random products. I did do a review of the Charobella highlighters. Um, this is the brand uh, that Tanya MUA started up. Um, and I, I, I really like them, but I really love like obsessed with Charlie's Glow. I did mention this, I did demonstrate it. It looks gorgeous. It's like a gold highlighter. Um, it's it's like triple milled, it's gorgeous. Um, look at, look at, oh, whew, just calm down. All this makeup is getting me like, oh, it's really cold in here, but it's getting me warm, which is great. So I'm wearing that today. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit more on so you can see it but it is the glowiest, most amazing highlighter. And the good thing about it is it doesn't like look like you've got heaps of product on your face. It doesn't look like a strip of metal on your, your face. And even on my pretty fair skin, this gold just looks like champagne amazingness. Like, yeah, you don't need to put that much on. So I have been struggling trying to use my Project Pan highlighter, balancing with this guy because this guy is gorgeous and I love it and it's great. Well done, Tanya. All right, a mascara that I've been using a lot this month is actually by L'Oreal, I believe, L'Oreal. 
Yeah, L'Oreal. Um, this was sent to me from a subscriber in the US and I know this is available now in Australia, I believe, um, but it's a different name. So this is called the, La uh, the False Lash X Fiber, but I don't know if it's called something else. I think it's called something else in Australia. So this is a double-ended mascara and the side number one is more of a small uh, brush and I really love this because it grips the lashes. Like it's only mascara, I'm not wearing lashes today, I'm only wearing mascara. It's like it grips the lashes and really um, coats the product on it. Uh, number two, I don't actually use that often. It's a bit fuller um, and I, I don't know. I don't use it that often, but I really like the effect of this. I like side one the most. It's good for the lower lash line. It's good for just like getting right into the lashes and putting a lot of product on. And then if you want to add a bit more volume, you can go side two, but I've been wearing this a lot and I've been really liking it. Um, and I have been wearing a lot of looks this month. That's just been a bit of, um, eyeshadow and then like I curl my lashes and put mascara on. And this is a mascara I've been using and it, does a very good job. Okay, the last face sort of makeup product before I get on to nails. Um, I wanted to mention the Benefit Ro uh, I keep thinking it's Rose. No, it's Gold Rush Blush. Now this blush, I haven't actually used that much because I'm really trying to use a blush in my project pan and I'm really failing with that. But this is just a soft sort of peachy um, sort of blush. It barely looks like there's anything on. It just gives a very, very soft peach with a slight uh, it kind of looks matte, but it does have a slight gold, mm, I wouldn't say sheen because it's not as strong as a sheen, but it's got something. It's a very, very soft peach blush. Now, um, I really like the color. I find that when I use this, it doesn't deposit much color at all. So I sort of can go quite heavy handed without it being a problem. But the reason I'm mentioning this is a kind of weird reason and um, forgive me, but it, it is what it is. Um, this has a scent to it and it smells quite strong and weird in the pan. It's sort of like a fig, um, woody sort of scent. It's really strange. It's sort of like a, I don't know, weird. But when you use a brush and you apply it, it smells really good. It's just, I just love the experience of it. And I know people don't like scented things. I know fragrances can irritate the skin, but they can also make you feel very happy. And I find that, yeah, you put your brush in, you put it on and you just get this almost like a soft fragrance sort of whoo in your face. And I just, I really enjoy the, the feel of it. I enjoy the experience of using this blush more than I actually love the effect of this blush. But uh, yeah, if you like scented products, I, I like this. If you don't like scented products, avoid this. But if you just like that sort of very, very soft blush where you don't get much color, but you get a bit of a, oh, it's a nice experience. Um, I like that one. I find that every month I've got a different sort of color story with my nail polish that I like to wear. Um, the past three weeks I've worn the same one and then I've swapped over to this one, which is a light blue. Um, I love this color. This color is gorgeous. And the soft purple that I was wearing as well is also gorgeous. So these are the two nail polishes that I've been wearing uh, pretty much exclusively over the last three weeks. Um, we've got Kesta Black, which is in the shade Prenup. Um, I do know that this was a collab with uh, Trophy Wife, which is a nail salon. So I don't, I bring out new ones every year. So I don't know if this is still available, but it's a beautiful, beautiful sort of muted um, purple. A lot of people have been asking me what I've been wearing because I think, yeah, I reapplied this three times in a row. Um, and then this one that I'm wearing is a gorgeous uh, cream finish. So it's just a flat, beautiful color, but it's got a beautiful shine to it. And it's like a beautiful sort of periwinkle blue. Um, and that's by Graceful Nail Polish. Um, I bought that around Christmas. So hopefully it's still available, but it's called Blueberry and it is gorgeous. So I've sort of been wearing a lot of dark colors um, because it's winter. I've been wearing coats, scarves, all that kind of stuff. But I've been really loving the pastel nails with it for some reason. And these are my two picks that I've been wearing a lot. Now on to just random stuff. Um, I have been at home a lot this month. So I've sort of liked homey kind of things. Um, I made a cactus little bowl. I should show you, but I can't be bothered. Um, anyway, a candle that I've been burning. So I've been burning candles most days. And one that I have been loving is from Circa Home. This one's half done and it makes me sad. Oh my God. Ah, 
Oh my God, it's called Blood Orange and it is amazing. It's got a wooden lid, I don't know where I put it, but this like makes your whole house smell amazing. And trust me, where I'm filming at the moment, it's such an open area that it's really hard to heat the place. It's really hard to get a scent throughout it. This definitely does it. And this is, nearly dropped it, a gorgeous fresh orange scent. And I know it's sort of more summery than it is the weather is currently now, but it's sort of nice to have a sort of fresh, nice, clean scent when you're, you know, closing all the doors and windows because it's cold and it's getting a bit stuffy. It's really nice having something to just kind of freshen it up. So this, this is, this is divine. Sort of reminds me of like orange and mango juice or something, but sort of like really fresh. The next candle that I've been loving, not only is this gorgeous because it's like a holographic, um, so you can hopefully see it's, got a sort of lacy sort of design. It's not lacy, but it's like a design on it and um, it's got holographic. It's so cool. So this is the hourglass candle that was for Mother's Day. It's called Casablanca. It says it's a velvet musk with bergamot, but I think it's also blackberry, something like that. It's a berry and it is oh, it's so divine. I haven't used this one as much because I sort of want to hold on to this one as long as possible but it's just a beautiful, sweet, musky sort of fragrance. And it's a little bit softer and not as um, obvious as something like this blood orange one, which is like you walk in, you're like, whoa, that I can smell that, it's amazing. This one's a more of a sort of, it sort of creeps up on you. It's really, really beautiful. Um, and whenever people come over, they're like, oh, why does your house smell like beautiful strawberries? And it's this candle. So not only does it look phenomenal, look at it on camera, oh my God. Look at it. So not only is it gorgeous, but it smells divine. So that is a limited edition one. Uh, it's still available, but um, I have been loving it. I'm kind of tempted to get it back up. Or we'll hope that it comes out next year as well. All right, onto clothing. I have been buying a few things. Not only is it sort of like end of financial year coming up, so there's a lot of sales, but um, at the start of the month, it was my birthday, which means that I get those sort of like discount codes and stuff sent through like, oh, you get $15 credit or $30 credit or 40% off or whatever it is for your birthday. So um, I have been using those. Uh, one thing I want to mention, which is really, really random, but I've pretty much been using this almost every day. It's a hair clip from Mimco. Now this hair clip is too expensive for a hair clip. Um, it's sort of like a rose gold and this black sort of, um, I don't know, it's like a tortoiseshell sort of effect. It's not just straight black. Um, but this is a really good hair clip. It's really, really sturdy and I've been wearing it all the time. The lady in the store said that she's got one and it's been lasting her forever. It's part of the permanent range. But what I do with this, um, I don't know if you're like me, but if you do a, a kind of messy bun a lot and you just put your hair up, but you don't want the um, hair tie mark, so you don't want your hair being dented from the hair tie mark, I use this. So, I'm, you know, I'm not wearing it. Maybe I'll take my beanie off. Hang on. So at the moment I'm wearing a hair tie, but if you don't want to wear a hair tie because you don't want your hair sort of having that dent in it, what I tend to do is I just twist my hair up. Wait, let's tend to do is twist my hair up like that. And I just use the clip at the back. So all of a sudden I've got a messy bun, but I don't need to use a hair tie. So I've been doing that a lot. It's really good if you've just washed your hair and you just don't want like indentations of stuff. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been doing a lot. So I've been using that hair clip pretty much all the time. So um, I like it. So yeah, I bought that with some birthday credit and I think they're having like a sale for Mother's Day. So it brought it down a lot because Mimco is really expensive, but it's a really good hair clip. Highly recommend it. Um, a nail, another sale that I made good on because it was too tempting was that uh, Joe Mercer, the shoe brand, was having buy one, get 70% off. And I was eyeing off these gorgeous boots. Look how nice these boots are. So they've got a zip with a little flappy bit on each side, which also means it's super easy to put your foot in because you unzipped it, un you can unzip it at both sides. So unzip it at both sides and they just look so nice and you can sort of wear them uh, dressy or you can wear them with jeans. So I picked up these, I really wanted these um, and I was eyeing them off for a while. So I picked those up full price, but then I got these navy shoes, um, these ones, uh, as the 70% off and these are really cool as well. So I, I love wearing navy coats. 
I've got a navy raincoat. I've got a navy like wool coat. So this I just thought was really, really nice. So I love these boots. They're such good quality. I've had some Joe Mercer boots for oh, going on over 10 years now. Um, and they still are really good. It's just the style I don't love anymore. And my feet are a little bit bigger, but um, they still work really well. So as long as you sort of keep on top of keeping the heels um, repaired, they're, they're such good boots. And the last thing I want to mention is that because it's been cold and because my computer's broken, um, I've been really enjoying going to bed a little bit earlier. For me, that's like 11 o'clock um, and reading for like an hour and, or an hour and a half. And I've been reading this book here by Neil Gaiman. Um, I got into Neil Gaiman because um, my friend got me a book for my birthday and I finished it within a week. Um, so I decided to go and pick up another book and I went for a one of his biggest ones. So this is American Gods. They turned it into a TV series. Um, and I just really like the way he writes. It's really easy to read when you're, you know, kind of winding down, going to bed. It's not too overly complicated. But the themes of what he talks about is really, really cool. So this is about the old gods that have come to America. And yeah, it's, it's a bit violent. It's a bit kind of sci-fi but it's really cool I really enjoy it so um I'm yeah I've been on a bit of a Neil Gaiman kick at the moment um and no doubt when I finish that book I'm gonna read another one so yeah those are sort of my favorites this month I do also want to mention quickly these aren't my favorites for this month because I started using them in June but this lip stain if you've been watching my Instagram stories, I've been talking about these lip stains. Um, these are by uh, Tony Moly and holy moly, Tony Moly. Um, they are fantastic. So right now I'm wearing the pink one and they are some of the best. I won't put them on my hand to swatch them because uh, I still have some swatched from when I was swatching them the other day. So they last forever. So I'm going to do a review on these. I'm tempted to get, there's four in the range and I've got three. So I'm tempted to get the last one before I do that. Um, but that's what I'm wearing on my lips and oh, I love them. They're going to be on my lips constantly in June. So this will be mentioned in my June favorites for sure because they're fantastic. Anyway, guys, uh, that is it for my favorites of May, favorites and fails of May. Uh, bit rambly, bit random, but hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.